Welcome back to the lab. Today we are going to take a look at cleaning the Hakko FR301 desoldering tool. So I was trying to desolder these components from this board. As you can see there's two components here. And it wasn't working. It's on and it's uh, obviously it's sucking. But when I try to desolder, this one melts but it doesn't suck it in. So doesn't really work. So how can we go about cleaning this? So obviously I haven't used this a lot. So th this part I think is quite okay. You can take this apart if you have a lot of uh, soldering here. But I think the issue is more with the tip. So let's have a look at how to clean the tip. Now my Haku came with this bag and in it we have some extra stuff that we need. So we're going to need this one to remove the tip. And then we're gonna need the screwdriver and this cleaning tool. So let's get them out of the bag. Okay, so the next step is to try and just clean uh, the tip here using this tool. And let's try and see if we can fit it in there. Okay, so it's not going all the way through. So something is stuck in there and that's not nice so the next step then is to remove this and it's very hot of course so you want to remove it using this tool which you can use even if it's hot so let's look at how to remove the tip this is still on so it's hot but you can use this tool to remove the tip even while it's hot so you need to insert it here just pull a little like that and then it will come out like this. Make sure you put it in here so you can keep it while it's hot. And then you can see this other part here. <coughs> and we can look at if there's something blocking here. Let's use this tool and just put it in there. And it seems that's quite okay actually. We can also use the screwdriver here and it will fit in here if you want to clean this out. So you got a little bit out in there. You can let that dry and just remove it from the screwdriver and, and continue to try and clean this out. But I think this part is quite okay. So we need to look at this other part. Okay, so let's look, have a look at the, this part. And you can actually remove the tip from here. If you turn it over like that, you can get the actual small tip out like that and then we can check if there's a problem with this tip so let's hold it like that and just check with the tool here if there's a problem here and yes seems like it's quite clogged there don't really get that one through so let's try the other way Still clogged. So the problem is probably in this part right here. We can also have a look at the other part. Let's pull it out here. And just see. See, this is just a big hole. So this cannot be the problem. Okay, so I found that the tip is really clogged here. And I think what we need to do is put it back and heat it up uh, at a higher setting than the one I'm using right now. So right now I'm using the one setting, which is the lowest setting. Okay, so now it's back together and let's put it on a higher setting. So the settings are here and let's say the degrees here. Let's put it on maybe setting, I guess setting Three could work and let's it give it a little while to heat up. Still no luck. Not working. So let's put it on the highest setting, which is number four. 
and let's heat it up even more. But still no luck, even in the highest setting of heat. So let's see what the next step might be. After a bit of research, I found that some people that get this problem with the tip being clogged use a drill bit to unclog it. So let's try that. So this is a one millimeter drill bit and it should fit inside here. And let's see if we can kind of drill it out. Okay, so this wasn't really easy, but I found a way to do it and it was to put the drill bit in from this side uh, and then just screw it and screw it, twist it until it comes out the other side in the end. But and some black powder came out when I did this. But now it's true. Let's check with this tool now. Oops. It's, it's no longer hot. Okay. Then it's easier. Yeah, now it goes through. So the drill bit really fixed it. But it wasn't all that easy. I couldn't go this way with the drill bit. Didn't work. Had to go from the back side in here. And there's like a hole in there. And, okay. But yeah, if you have this clogging problem, one millimeter drill bit, this was what worked for me. So now let's put it together and see if it will work. Let's put the tip back in here and then put this whole thing back here and I'm going to connect this up and heat it up and see if it works. Okay, so now it's hot. Let's see if it works. So I'll just try to desolder this leg here. Yeah, so now the solder is all gone and it's working great again. And got that one too. And we should be able to take this out. Yeah, now it comes out. So the problem was the clog tip and the solution was this one millimeter drill bit. Before we end this video, I just want to give a short tip on how to handle this while it's hot. So you want a stand uh, to put it in. And I had this cheap stand. You can get these kind of stands for like five or 10 euros, but it doesn't really work well with the, the hacko because it's keep falling over like that and doesn't really fit well. So what I did to fix this was I modeled up a adapter for the stand. So this is a 3D printed adapter and you can put the stand in like so. It's in here. And I also printed this with a lot of infill so it's a bit heavier. And now if you put it in here, it fits perfectly and it's not going anywhere. So this works quite well I would say. And I will put the link to this uh, 3D model in the description. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.